from Washington is CBS News Chief Foreign Affairs Correspondent Lara Logan. Lara, good morning. Good morning, Chris. This war in Afghanistan now approaching the 10th. Well, one of the most important things to remember is that this is a volunteer army, Chris. This is not the conscription, you know, of the Vietnam War, and so you're never going to see morale. This is not just a 10-year war in Afghanistan. There was the war in Iraq as well. And what you notice now when you go back is that you're, the insurgents are using homemade explosives now, which are very deadly. And one of his soldiers stepped on an ID that was attached to that, and it took them two days to recover his body because he was obliterated. That is the kind of incident that s troops are dealing with Two Afghan children were killed the very next day, ages two and four, and they put their remains, both of them, in a shoebox. And after that, he said he lost a lot of soldiers, guys that were saying, I just don't want to go out of the wire. Um, but at the same time, they know why they're there. They know what they're fighting for. And generally, I have always found that morale is pretty good. You look at these numbers, though, and, and with... Picked out of the army for that, even if they're decorated war heroes, because the rules are the rules. And these people are, are slipping through the cracks. There are more and more of them with every year of the war. So it's not just the active duty soldiers. It's the ones, you know, who have, who have left the army now and uh, who have been forgotten about for the most part. Lara, let me ask you what your thoughts are on the troops' morale now that bin Laden is dead. I mean, this was seemingly a war with no end game, and now that he is yes. gone, is there kind of a sense that... Well, maybe the finish line is a little closer. That no matter, you know, no matter how good you feel about a raid or what you've done, that you haven't defeated al-Qaeda if he's still free and mocking the United States. So, of course, it would have been a big boost to morale. I'm not so sure that people see the end game now. There is, um, you know, there's a lot of propaganda and, and spin um, being pushed around at the moment. And for the soldiers, their immediate reality is the same. They're still fighting the same war. Um, of course, it does, it does make them feel at least, um, you know, that I'll, no one is invincible and that's a powerful message for the US to send both to its troops you know and who are fighting on their behalf and to their enemies all right CBS is Lara Logan Lara thank you good to talk with you this morning in Washington Thanks, for us uh, on this morning I want to check in now with Jeff Glor who's at the news desk with a look at some of the other headlines we're following for you this morning Jeff good morning again Erica good morning to you once again I just love that you resuscitated put up your dukes. I Did you like that? that? I haven't heard that in a dog's age. So like this. Show us how you do it the right way. Well. There you go. You got in it. In the BX. Yeah. Nice. Just saying. Good job. I know. Get to weather. Wrap. Wrap. Get to weather. Here are your high temperatures for today. Pretty seasonal. 70 in Seattle, 71 in Fargo. The cooler spot is Billings, just at a cool 54, but we like it. We're in the mid-80s to low 90s. As far as precipitation is concerned in the southern plains in the Midwest, folks are going to get a lot of it in the next 24 hours. Unfortunately, western Texas still doesn't get the, the rain that it needs, but we're looking at heavy downpours that could result in four inches of rain uh, over the next 24 hours. Billings gets two and a half inches, Salt Lake half an inch, Wichita. The center was part of the country, two and a quarter inches. A place where you won't see a whole lot of precipitation, the southeast. It will be sunny with highs in the mid 80s to low 90s. Perfect if you're planting your vegetable garden this week weekend. Remember, homegrown herbs and vegetables mean fresher and healthier cooking for the entire family. I like cilantro. I also don't do a very good job of killing it, of keeping it alive. Let's look at what the weather across the nation. Now let's see what's happening right outside your window. Thanks so much. That's your latest weather. Here's Erica. Mari, thanks. Just ahead, despite the headlines about breakups of long-lasting celebrities, New data from the Census Bureau shows Americans are waiting longer to get married. They're also staying married for longer. Early show contributor Taryn Winter Brill is here with more. Nice to see you this morning. Nice to see you. Good morning to you, Erica. Well, after rising for decades, the U.S. years on average. Interesting stuff. Taryn, yeah. nice to have you with us this thanks, morning. Thanks, Erica. Thanks. We'll be right back. You're watching The Early Show on CBS. Well, Erica, it looks like Arnold Schwarzenegger fans will have to wait a little longer for his big Hollywood comeback. He's putting all of his projects. We're going to check in with a top Hollywood publicist, see if he can actually restart that career again. This is The Early Show on CBS. Can we see that? You Spider know, chance? why do you have to pull you're back the curtain? I mean, you're petite. It's, where's, there it is. That took, right, that took less than two hours to install. And look, when I have no shoes on, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yes, nice.
Jeff, what am I going to do with you? Good morning, everyone at home. Here's what you can expect for your weekend forecast for today. The West Coast is definitely a great spot, free of any precipitation, and the temperatures are just about where they need to be. The Southeast is also an area that's going to be pretty nice. We're keeping an eye on the center of the country because, of course, that's where the severe weather is expected to hit today into tomorrow. Speaking of tomorrow, that system starts to make its way towards the East Coast. The Northeast, this is a very persnickety system that just doesn't want to exit by Sunday, however. It should be out of the way, but they can see the severe storms are starting to make their way uh, into uh, the northeast. And we're going to keep an eye on it for you. That's a look at the weather across the nation. Now let's see what's happening right outside your window. Thanks so much. That's your latest weather now. Here's Chris. Body soul, thank you. Be careful stepping down. From Joss Stone there. This evening marks the final edition of Entertainment Tonight with Mary Hart as host. She's bringing a record-setting run to an end. CBS News correspondent Bill Whitaker looks back at a career that helped bring in a new era of entertainment journalism. Yeah. After tonight. Big shoes to fill though. Nobody does it better than Mary. 29 years is unreal. Yeah, it is. And a, a great gal too. And, I, and everything that Bill kind of said in the piece as far as she'll uh, always have a special place in my heart. We wish you the very best, Mary. I mean, yeah. it was really what a career. And in the hearts of so many. Yeah. Uh, so you can tune in again to that uh, tonight. Uh, we should mention a little programming note as well. Yeah. Uh, someone's busy this weekend. Giving oh, a commencement yes. address, Mr. Glore. I am, yeah. I'm going to be in Boston. Excellent. Right. Are you nervous? I guess a little bit, yeah. yeah. That's yeah. exciting. I, mean, I hope I can say something that's somewhat meaningful, meaningful a little bit, and then just get off the stage. Just, just end it with, <laughs> let's get this party started. I hope it's all right. <laughs> that's, that's it. it. That's, it. that's your speech. takeaway. Have a great weekend, everyone. Your local news is next. <laughs>